If you discovered something that looked like gold, would you want to know if it was real? Definitely. There are numerous types of minerals, and some of them look very similar. Minerals are made of elements and compounds that are bonded together. These elements and compounds provide the mineral with specific physical properties. To identify a mineral, a geologist examines four different physical properties. Luster, hardness, color, and streak. Luster measures the shininess of a mineral. Silver and gold are examples of shiny minerals. Hardness indicates how hard it is to scratch a mineral. A diamond is very hard. Color is another way to identify a mineral. The surface color of a mineral may differ from its inside color. Scientists can discover the inside color of a mineral by creating a streak. To make a streak, you rub the mineral against a hard surface. This leaves a long mark of mineral powder that shows the inner color of a mineral. Daryl. Since many minerals look alike, it's important to test more than one physical property to, to accurately identify them. Fool's gold looks like real gold, so checking the surface color alone isn't enough. Fool's gold leaves a dark green streak, but if you see a yellow streak, you're in luck. At home, a scale is a tool used to measure weight. However, in geology, a scale is a series of measurements. For instance, the hardness scale is a series of measurements between soft and hard. Numbers from 1 to 10 represent the hardness of a mineral. A soft mineral like talc has a hardness of 1 or 2 and is easily scratched. A diamond has a hardness of 10. The hardness of all other minerals falls between 1 and 10. The scale for luster uses words instead of numbers. In the luster scale, metallic is shiny like metal, glassy is shiny like glass, and dull is not shiny at all. Consider this table. It describes minerals using the four physical properties discussed in this lesson.